is good everybody welcome to an epic my damn toys video today we have a bunch of stuff going on guys we got some epic stuff in the house if you guys can see what is going on in front of you right here this is in fact the prototype it's not the prototype this is this is literally going to be what the thing looks like it's just not completed just yet but we did start constructing the mdt hell's gate stage as you guys can see that is a full scale elite 64 seth football rollins right there and you can see just how big this stage is guys i i, I need to measure it for you let me let me let me grab my freaking ruler man so i grabbed a good old trusty clear ruler and what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to measure this thing so you guys can kind of get a get a sense of what we're looking at right here. If we start all the way at the end, come on, Brad. If we start all the way at the end, from there to there, it's about 12 inches. That's the full, obviously, length of the ruler. And then if we go to the other side where it ended, I think it's supposed to be right at... 24 inches which is about where it's at it's maybe a little bit under 24 inches but this thing is looking pretty good it's coming along pretty well and uh, I'm, I'm very excited for it man I, I took a bunch of foam if you guys don't know what this is let me let me grab a little bit of it so what this stuff is is it's pink uh insulation foam and uh, i don't know if you guys are familiar with acba which is articulated comic book art if you guys are familiar with building dioramas and stuff if you guys remember the mdt royal rumble stage i had my boy al figures he's the one that created at that stage. I couldn't get him to commission this one, which I was very sad about. I think he would have killed this build, but given to time constraints and budgets and stuff like that, I wanted to construct it myself, and that's pretty disappointing because Al's an absolute beast, and I wanted him to construct this. He also constructed our general manager's office that you see on the pick fed every single week, but I wanted to construct this myself, and I'm very familiar with, you know, dioramas and stuff like that, so I wanted to give this build a, a try, and what we've gotten so far is pretty freaking swell. I drew up a concept. Let me grab the concept. Why didn't I have everything by me, man. Okay, this is a really rough sketch. Now, this isn't this isn't very good. I drew this in two minutes. I literally flat rated it. I just said, let me just draw something off the top of my head. But here's what we got right now. You got the big gate here. It says MDT. You got some fire going on besides the door. You have the little pentagram here in the middle. You got your ground. You have your little cracks in the surface. You have some little side things here. Down here, I'm going to do lava, which is on the op outside of, oh God, which is on the outsides of this. This isn't the end of it. There's just not enough room. On the outside over here, there's going to be like some lava and other rocks, and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, and uh, man, I'm, I'm looking forward to it, man, and another thing that I plan on doing is I think behind the uh, the big gates right here in the middle, I'm going to put some like rock texture and stuff like that, so it's coming along pretty well. I mean, we still got a lot more to do. For the most part, I mean, it's coming together, as you guys can see. So if you wanted to make a stage yourself or build it out of foam and stuff, guys, this is what you'll have to purchase. It's these massive 24 by 24 panels, and you can see here it's massive. If it's 24 by 24, you have to cut it up. You use a ruler or something, you can cut it all up. There it is right there, foamular. It's just like an insulation foam board, so you'll take that and then you just cut it up. I bought three big ones, and uh, I'm still working on this, obviously. We still got a lot more to do. All right, guys, so I just realized that I am editing this video, and I didn't even tell you where the hell to get this stuff. So if you want to pick this stuff up, you can go over to Hobby Lobby. Not Hobby Lobby, Brad. It's Home Depot. Home Depot or Lowe's should have it. I honestly would pick Home Depot because I went to two Lowe's, and they didn't even have it. That's where I used to get it, but now I guess Home Depot is the place to get it. They come in like 20 24 by 24 boards and you just grab them i think they're like five bucks or so and uh you can just pick up a few of them they're like 5.99 or something and they're really really nice and yeah i think that's all the info i need so enjoy the video and uh yeah keep keep watching to the end so you can see rollins right here uh i want to get a big shot of the gates there's the gates i think they are how tall are they man let's go ahead and measure that ish too so roughly it looks like from the bottom of the gate all the way to the top it looks like it's roughly around 16 inches tall or something like that and if you guys guys want to check out what we got going on here's the pentagram logo etched into the surface and you guys will see that red line that's a that's a, I used a sharpie and I trying to just like pre-drew it there and uh, I didn't like that line so I went ahead and drew another line and this will be painted anyway and you probably guys are probably wondering why does it look so ugly and black and the reason it's black and ugly right now is because this is a base layer what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay a black base layer over everything so I still have to paint literally so much more things that it's, it's kind of saddening but what we're gonna do I'll show you the other parts where the lava is gonna sit but also, I plan on putting lava, makeshift lava, obviously, not real lava. Brad, it would burn the foam and my skin off. 
but we're gonna run that uh, that makeshift lava through these cracks and I'm gonna paint it up to where it looks like it's glowing so what we're gonna do all this will be gray and like you know dry brushed and nice this will all look realistic it'll look kind of like the Royal Rumble stage you guys know how it looked like concrete and brick and stuff it'll look like that concrete here and we're gonna paint this all black we're gonna pour the lava into all these cracks so it looks like the star and the cracks are glowing we're also going to do some details onto the gate again I am gonna try to put the MDT logo in the middle I do have a print off so I have my logo printed off I'm gonna print this and I'm gonna cut I already printed it you stupid jackass so I'm gonna cut this out put it onto some foam or put it onto some cardboard cut that out and probably put it behind Seth Rollins head right here and that way you know when the gates open up and stuff like that so we have a lot more work to do but it is coming along pretty nicely I'm pretty excited about it again I have a, a sh just <laughs> too much time I mean too much too many too many things to do man but I have some other uh, supplies that I want to show you and we have some freaking figures that I picked up that I want to show you guys as well so I'm gonna move this stuff out of the way you guys already saw kind of what we got going on so I'm gonna move this out of the way go get the other stuff and break that down as well oh yeah one more thing that I forgot to notice this is also magnetized so you could just kind of plop this out right there so the gates are magnetized to the base that way it's easy to you know disassemble and stuff like that and it's you know they won't fall over these however are not magnetized down you just kind of sit them in place because they're just like rocks or whatever all right guys so if you guys can kind of see right here what we got going on these are the two pieces that will be on the other side so these won't be connected but they will be on either side of that stage that we were looking at so this all this black right here will be painted like rocks again it'll have like some orange tones to it again to insinuate the lava so what I did was carved out like a little you know valley right here so there's a valley right here and I'm gonna pour the lava in there and make it look like it's glowing lava so we'll have glowing lava on either side of the stage same thing over here uh, still some standing area I mean the superstars probably won't be any Anywhere near it but I did want to add it you know get some effect going so we have the lava on either side and it's just two little side panels that will go on either side of the stage I thought that was pretty cool I may turn them like this I don't I'm not sure yet it may go like this you know like uh, like this right here to give it a better look I'm not sure we'll just see how that plays out and everything I still have a lot more to do with it and I still have to you know pour the lava paint it up it's it's again there's a ton more work to go into this stage but I am making like a progress video to post after MDT Hell's Gate so you guys will see that uh, when it's ultimately time I also have a ton of like other stuff as far as like uh, like little wooden dowels and stuff for the gate. Like I want to give it some details, make it look pretty sharp and modern and hell-like. So if you guys see this right here, this is the three things we're going to use to make the lava. And if you guys would like like a tutorial slash video on that, I can show you guys how to make the lava and stuff like that. You know, how to mix it, how to pour it. But what you'll need is plaster, some uh, white coke, and then some Elmer's glue. And we can make a video about that. Here's my paints. I bought two things of black because, again, you saw how much black I needed. And then I probably should have bought two things of gray, but we will be dry brushing, so maybe we won't need as much paint for that. But I want to know down in the comment section below, guys, what you think of that freaking stage, man. I'm for, I'm freaking hyped. We also got a hot glue gun. I'm going to use this little fire that I got from my NECA Jason. I'm going to pour like some hot glue over this, try to get the same shape as this fire, and then use this to stick it across the stage, like in random areas, maybe coming out of those cracks. I'm not sure exactly what I want to do with this, but I did want to use this as a template. And we also got this beautiful cool flow mask to prevent me from hyperventilating or breathing in harmful odors to kill me. You may I really adopted the dog. I was, I was born, born in it. <sighs> Not gonna lie. It kinda looks badass with the white hoodie and the, the white face mask right here. Pretty freaking fire if I do say so myself. You know what? Hit me down below. What's a cool wrestler name for somebody that looks like this? White hoodie, white face mask. Give me a cool wrestler name. My last name's White. This could be part of my entrance gear. I don't know. My face is getting kinda hot though. Let's finish this video. All right, now that that's over with, let's show off these figures that I got, man, which I'm really excited for, okay? We got two figures here, and you guys will see exactly what we're talking about. I'm sure many people have made videos already, but we got the brand new Basic 102 series Seth Rollins, and the reason I got this, guys, is because I really think this is the best Seth Rollins head sculpt to date, and we're gonna check that out right now because I wanna know for sure if you guys like this one better or if you guys like this one better. Now, there is two totally different ways of looking at it. I think they both kind of look look just like him like 
it's kind of weird because this one obviously looks like it, but this one looks really good as well. I will say I wish the beard was a little bit thicker, but I still like it. I love the way the hair looks, the hair color. This hair looks way better than this hair. I just like, like, look at the likeness right there from the side, dude. This looks just like Seth. I think I like this one better, and the reason I got two of them is because I'm going to customize one and then use another one for a fix-up or something. Uh, hopefully, we get this on another Elite. I think we're getting this with that Royal Rumble 2020, or I mean Royal Rumble 2019 Seth. Maybe the new Top Talents 2020 Seth will come with this, and maybe, you know, and I, I hear we're getting another Network Spotlight series, and so maybe Seth Rollins will be in that or something, and we can get this head sculpt a lot, just like we got this one. It sucks, man, because, you know, they release a new head scan, you buy it up like this. I have 150 of these now, and now they come out with this, and it's like, well, what is it? I don't want this anymore, man. I guess that's that's the, the woes of figure collecting, man. But anyways, you guys will see again that we do have two, and the reason we got two is because I wanted one loose, and then I wanted to keep this one mock. <laughs> We don't collect mock. If you collect mock, that's cool. I just, I, I just, I'm not a big fan unless it's like a rare figure, I guess. I, I don't know, but I guess, like, I know people like to collect figures that they, or guys they really like. Like, John Cena, I thought about doing that with, buying mock figures of that. I just, I'm just not big, because you guys know I love to customize, pick fed, and, you know, put them up on display. So I, I just can't do it. I, I think I, I respect the grind if you want to, you know, collect mock. But for me, it's just not for me. So we're, we're, we're freeing them out of the package, man. Let them breathe, bro. Oh, look at his hair stuck under the neck right there. But anyways, guys, I think that is going to do it for today's video. We have our new Seth Rollins basics. We have all of the stuff here with the lava that we're going to make. We also have the MDT Hell's Gate stage we're constantly working on. And literally, as soon as I hit stop recording on this video, I will edit this video, I will upload this video, and then I will proceed to work on this Hell's Gate stage until I'm blue in the face. Also, I didn't for I forgot to mention, like, what do you guys think about this basic? Like, I mean, look at it. Like, they, they, the details are definitely missing here. There's no Infinity Stones, which I guess was for copyright reasons, but this attire was not green. It gives off like a green hue. Um, it looks better in person. It's not as green as it was in photos, and they didn't put really any details on the side here, but I don't know. Pretty, I mean, it, it doesn't have any basic articulation, but this head scan's fire. This head, this head scan is freaking fire, and I love it, but... Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Let me know down below what you think of the MDT Hell's Gate stage thus far. Comment down below which head scan of Seth Rollins you like better. You like the smiley top talents or you like the new Thanos basic wave farts in a bag. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.